What's up everybody, this is Mike from Athletic Gains. I just want to take you guys through some of the exercises we take the pros through. And when you're done, please like, subscribe, comment, do what it does. So today I'm gonna to walk you guys through what we take every single one of our athletes through here at Athletic Gains. It's our mini band glute and hip activation warm up. Now first you're gonna lay on your back, wrap the heavier band right above the knees and the lighter band right around the ankles. First thing you'll start with is glute bridges. So you're gonna raise the hips up to the sky 10 times. Hold for a second at the top and really get a good arch going for your hips. After that, we're gonna keep the hips stacked on the floor and going externally rotation. What this is doing is taking your knee out to the side while keeping the opposite leg still. You have 10 with the right, 10 with the left, and then 10 with both at the same time. Once you finish this, you're gonna roll over onto your side and we have clamshells. Keeping the feet stacked on top of each other, your shoulders stacked over the, each other on the ground. You're gonna then laterally raise your hips up to the sky, opening up 10 times on each side. After this, we're gonna get into a quarter squat where you keep the bands exactly the same and you're going internal rotations, taking the knee inside while keeping the opposite leg still. We've got 10 with the right, 10 with the left, and 10 with both again. Once you're done with this, you'll have 10 squats, getting as much depth as you can and shooting the hips explosively up to the top. What you wanna do is maintain good posture in your back while keeping your chest up, core engaged, and hips as far forward as you can. Once you finish the squats, you're gonna flip the bands to where the heavier band is right around the ankles and the lighter band is right above the knees Turn to where you have some space forward in a linear direction and start your marches. So you want to get up on your toes and kick your legs forward as far as possible while maintaining posture in the torso. You have 10 going forward, you'll turn around and do the same thing walking back. After this, you'll face in either direction where you have space going laterally now. Staying straight up with your posture in the torso and the legs, you're going to laterally take 10 steps to the left or right and then 10 steps back in the, same direc or in the opposite direction, facing the same way again. After this, you'll turn and face forward again. We have monster walks. Now during this, you're gonna to wanna to get into a quarter squat and take 45 degree steps. This means diagonally forward to the left, bring yourself back to base with the feet and then diagonally forward to the right. You're gonna take 10 steps forward and then mimic the same thing going backwards back. This means you're gonna stay in the quarter squat and you're gonna take a 45 degree step backwards to the left, 45 degree, uh, degree step backwards to the right. You have 10 going backwards. Once you're done with this, we'll turn and face where we have space laterally again you're gonna get into that quarter squat and you're taking lateral steps, 10 to the left or right, whichever way you decide to start, and then 10 back in the opposite direction. That'll complete the bends. You'll take them off and get ready for your workout. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. See you later. Thanks for watching this week's Train Like a Pro. Hope you guys learned some things and we'll see you next week.